Because I'm not featured regularly on this show, I think a lot of people think I'm just that person behind the scenes and I don't really do a lot except for the technical aspects of the business. However, uh, I do contribute a lot of different things by very subtle means. I'd watch the videos now that we're on video a lot and I would see these guys and Sometimes I felt like they looked like they just came off the street. That uh, ungroomed, muscle. he looks like he just woke up. Life. Um, then it's just I a bad look for us, you know what I'm saying? They definitely look like they needed a little bit of, you know, tender loving care. And and we want to look very uh, professional here, right? I Answer can't believe that. I mean, they, they need to do something with their long, hair, okay? Better. What does that I mean, mean, Adam obviously he doesn't have any, but never eating just take a look at his beard. Uh, ever. We're a professional podcast. We're the number one fitness podcast in the world. One to three times Adam's a week. beard not How so bad here. It's a little sparse right. looking. That's it's not, it's not very well trimmed. So I said, okay, we got to get somebody in here that can make these people look great. <laughs> Justin looks like he should be walking around in his underwear three times a week with How a beer in his hand. I mean, come on. The thing. However, how do you slide that in without them taking offense? Well, I, of course, enlisted Adam because Adam is our style guru, right? And so I said, hey, you know, Adam, you know, you, you're the sharpest dress, dress guy here. You know, when your beard is super trim and cut and your head shaved perfectly and you've got the caldera on it and it's got a beautiful shine to it and it just makes you glow. You, you see, what if we could do that every week? And the next thing we know, Vicky is in our life. And all of these guys, like our Supercuts guy, Sal, okay? He's in there getting himself styled up really nice. He's got a nice part down the side. And I gotta say, the level went way up. I'll probably take a nap this afternoon or something. Like like an old man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I feel, I feel absolutely uh, Terrible for poor Vicky, right? I mean, she gets uh, she gets Justin and I, which I'm sure is is uh, easy. Right? I'm obviously easy to cut my hair, right? It's not a lot of work for her to do, but she probably has the most work uh, with salad. Caffeine's extremely addictive. Uh, the part that's probably the the most challenging for her, is she's got to sit through and listen to him talk nerdy science the whole time. You know, HCG levels, and metabolism, and mitochondria. And HCG is a hormone that's produced during pregnancy. Delta Crash, August 2nd, 1985, Lockheed L-1011. Uh, in fact, that's what pregnancy tests detect. Right, yeah. I'm sure he's telling her all this bullshit, and she's probably just nodding her head and agreeing with him, pretending like she's really listening, but I, I know she's not. You eat 500 calories, you're going to lose For sure. weight. For sure. Mm -hmm. means are like epinephrine or epinephrine, it's like the energy chemicals. Qantas. Qantas? Qantas never crashed. So I don't drink coffee typically, sometimes I do, but usually I'll do caffeine pills with uh, theanine. Theanine's gonna help you ride out that buzz and keep you nice and sharp and uh, keep that high elevated. Yeah, I've heard that pitch a lot and uh, the first couple times appreciated it, but uh, honestly, I just, sometimes I just wanna indulge and, and have my coffee in peace. And it's ranking one or one to five in a lot of the small categories. Exercise and fitness has been pretty good around in the top 20. And I'm sorry, Vicky, but that's literally just what's gonna happen. No, Vicky's really cool. Obviously she does a good job with our hair, but she was really interested in all the intricacies of nutrition and fitness. And so I was able to go into some depth and she seemed to really appreciate it. I think she likes to learn a lot of stuff. So we were able to go down some pretty good rabbit holes on, on nutrition and stuff. So I, I know she liked it. It's not just a hair thing. I brought in one of my friends, Michael Wilcoxon. He's a professional uh, comedy sports player. He's been doing this for a good 15, 20 years. The thing that I want us to do for this is say yes and add more information. I knew there was gonna be a little resistance around it, uh, especially with Adam, because Adam kind of, you know, he kind of thinks of himself as a very spontaneous guy. Five things that you would eat with cheese. Justin, of course, he kind of thinks of himself as a, a, a comedian. Yeah, you know, the thing about comedy is, um, you know, there's there's multiple types of comedy. I know how to sell it to, the two, to these two guys. I'm going to say, you know, just play along, guys. 
Sal really needs the help. Down. All right. Up. Up. Down. No, no, no. You gotta oh, do down yeah. first. Oh, yeah. down you gotta first. do the one yeah. I say. Oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> down. You know, secretly, the whole idea of bringing Funny Mike in was, you know, Doug, he came to me. And he says, hey, you know, uh, I know Sal carries the show with the studies a lot, and that's really, really important to the growth of the show, but he's so fucking dry, and we need to we need to loosen him up a little bit. And so if maybe you and Justin could go along with this whole idea of having this comedian come in, um, really it's to improve Sal uh, on the show. I know you guys are great already, Doug said, um, but we really need to work on Sal. And so this idea right now is... You know, Justin and I, we have to kind of play dumb a little bit, like, you know, oh yeah, this is really helping us out. Like, oh, thanks, funny Mike. But really, it's to help Sal out. I said, all right, Adam, Justin, play along with me. We're gonna bring this guy in and it's for Sal. But here, but here's the truth. They all needed it. One, two, three. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. You see it. You see it. I like to focus on real spur of the moment. Uh, improv, like things that um, you know aren't so forced. Uh, One, uh, two, clock, two, uh, Biggie, three, uh, uh, Eminem, four. <laughs> We're not done. Uh, 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 the other guy. Uh, you know, everybody's sort of waiting. What are you gonna say next? Uh, applesauce, four. Uh, teriyaki, five. <laughs> five. <laughs> wow. But that's great. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. There's something called a Freudian slip. This is when uh, you, like, you say what's on your mind on accident, you know? <laughs> Come on! Hot chicks! Three. Um, and uh, so the game makes us say things quickly, and it's just very obvious what's on his mind. You know, food, cheese, hot women. I mean, that's basically like, if you could peer into Justin's brain, it would be like a music video, and there'd be like chicks, Pouring like nacho cheese on themselves. That's like his. That's his brain. What's going on in his head? Yeah. One, two, three. Off road. Off road. Oh, oh, oh my God! Off road. Off road. Yeah, I got it. Oh, frivolous <laughs> Adam Purchase. <Yeah. laughs> I love this guy because he gives us these great analogies. Uh, my favorite part about the analogy gives that they normally fly over Sal's head. Like he gave this analogy about volleyball the other day. In in volleyball, someone's got to set the ball. Yeah, and so right. being the person that sets the ball is really fun. And in comedy sports... Sal, just you could see the look on his face and pretending like he knew what was going on, but absolutely had no clue uh, what, what setting in volleyball meant. So you have to be fast, right? Pizza! Two! Uh, Dorito! Three! A burrito! Four! Tacos. You gotta be on your toes. You gotta be able to sit, make certain statements or play the game with you know, accuracy and um... <laughs> five exercises for calves. Oh, oh wow, just... Sandy calf raise, seated calf raise. You know, it was cool because, uh, you know, I did really well, but then I was like, oh man, you know, it's like another thing that, you know, I'm better at the guys that, you know, so it's like, whatever. I mean, they're used to it by now. Time, one, Sh shaving, two, uh, eating uh, pizza, three, taking a nap, four, and That's a lot putting no gain on it. <laughs> you know, we all did, you know, our best, and uh, I would say, you know, I was kind of blowing everybody away, and then Doug was, he was doing decent. He's had a lot of practice. He's done this before. He did, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but he, he did improv for a long time, so he, like, called upon all of the skill to, uh, uh, skills, right? Of course, for me, it was the first time I ever did it, so I, I, I just, I think I'm a natural. So you don't have to <laughs> incorporate it. Oh. All, you have to, all you have to do is be talking. But also listen and answer. Right, so you have to be talking oh, and, and narrate this, this and we're narrate the- multiplication, it's just No like multiplication, addition, no, addition, addition, no division. Okay. Addition or subtraction yeah, is yeah, all yeah. we're gonna do. <laughs> Katrina and I and Max, we went out to Hawaii Five right here, which was, and we saw, you know, this 12 foot long snake well, that was actually on the beach. Now, she, incredible. Did, she always go topless or? Uh, she does sometimes, you know, she's really comfortable in her, own in her own skin, but uh, you know, it was around three o'clock or so when we, <laughs> we actually got burned right here because she laid out for so long. Yeah. We, we play all these different games. One of my favorites to play is we do this uh, photo album game where you uh, pretend like you're telling a story about a, a trip and you're showing a photo album to the other guys. And the idea is that the other guys are throwing math problems um, at you while you're telling this, but I mean, I mean that's my jam. So you got Sal, uh, first of all, who has a hard time counting above 15 because of all his years as a personal trainer trying to throw, you know, 15 minus three, like that's gonna stump me while I'm telling a story. So 
Uh, no way are these guys going to slip me up on, on, on math and storytelling. So, I mean, that's my jam and uh, probably one of my favorite games that we played. It was crazy. Like, uh, I mean, is that speedo? Is that what size did you get there? Yeah, well, it's it's almost 50. this is a double X, you know. But uh, you know, it's about about 19 inches or all the way around. It's about like, uh, <laughs> okay. you know, so. Adam, I could see a little bit of smoke come out of his ears. I think there's a few circuits that uh, that, that that bursts or, or caught fire in his head. It's like if you get Adam thinking too hard, he's got to go take a nap um, because it's just it's just too much for his. Uh, he's already working at full capacity with his. Up, diagonal. You know, it's like trying to get like 400 horsepower out of a two-cylinder car. Like you could do it, but there's a lot of like nitrous and turbo and weird things happening. Um, so, um, you know, I know Adam afterwards had to go take a nap for about 40 minutes before we started the podcast. <laughs> I, mean, he's the guy. I, I like the, I like the incorporation. I know. I thought that was taking it to the next level. Is that okay? Can I try to fuck you up? I'm just gonna do it like. My favorite part about incorporating. Um, these improv sessions is just being able to let loose and get a little bit silly and wacky. Easy twink, it goes right with your drink. Yeah, yeah. Easy twink, yeah. and then yeah. share yeah. and share joins yeah. in. Share yeah. joins yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good. We tend to do a lot of serious conversations and then we try to find the fun in that. Uh, and we're sort of flipping that model on its head and I'm curious to see if this brings out another side of Mind Pump that people can see. It's pizza dough, right? It goes with cheese mm. and pop rice. Now it's like a pizza Twinkie. It's like a that flavor you... explosion in your mouth. Exactly. Ooh, there's... What I'm really enjoying is seeing the benefit for the entire production. So again, behind the scenes, I have to be very subtle, very ninja about my approach, but it's effective.